back we'll have a look at God by Polyphia now I'll be showing you guys the easiest part of the song which is basically the jazz cause part the bossa nova part so I heard the song it's pretty great uh, you guys know it and I uh, gotta admit but uh, honestly I haven't heard Polyphia before I have heard maybe the songs accidentally a couple of times but I've never looked into them a lot but uh, I just started hearing the songs today and I've been learning Polyphia a little bit so I thought of making the lesson I have learned a little bit of intro which I'll not play right now but uh, let's have a look at the song or uh, the guitar should be in the standard tuning so let's have a look at the chord shapes and all the chord shapes I'll say is pretty easy so uh, about the right hand what Tim Henson does is basically he has a plectrum and then he uses these two fingers mainly to plug the strings you can do the style so you can play like that uh, where's my plectrum uh, Kai, uh, I got the plectrum so we have the plectrum and it goes like this so you can have your plectrum and plug the strings using these two fingers it sounds nice so you can do so so the first chord which we have is the E minor 9 for that you got your middle finger ring finger and your pinky finger on the of A G, B and your index finger on D5 first chord so the pattern goes like this so I mainly plug the A, B, G string together then B and G then a slap so we got then I plug the A, B, G together so we have then again A then plug B and G and slap so we have now the pattern actually changes it uh, doesn't remain the same throughout the whole thing so we got we go to the next shape which will be just one fret up F minor 9 so it's the same shape so we'll play the same pattern so I'm now I'll go back to the E minor 9 so we have Now I'll go to this chord shape which is a B minor 7 with flat 5. I have a middle finger, my ring finger and a pinky finger on the center of E, D, G, my index on B6. So I'll play the same pattern but it goes a little bit different. I simply pluck the E and the D, G, B together. Then I pluck the G, B and then a mute. So we have... And then I quickly go to this chord shape, which is uh, E7, uh, I think with sharp 5, if I'm not wrong. E7 sharp 5 or 9, I think, yeah, yes, E7 sharp 9. So E7 sharp 9, I play the pattern 1, so I plug A, D, G, B together, then D, G, B, then mute. So we have... So the chord is in a single bar. The Previous chords were for a full bar, but these two chords make a bar, which means each chord is half a bar. So we have. And then I go to the A minor chord, which is again for a full bar. So I'll play the pattern likewise. So we have. So I have my four fingers on E5, D5, G5, B5. So next chord, we move on to the A minor 6. And it goes for a single uh, half a bar, like we had that previous two chords so we'll be having middle finger on E5 index on D4 and rest all scene so we plucked like this and then we go to this chord shape which is a B minor 7 uh, with sharp 5 so I got my middle index on E and D7 ring and pinky on G8 and B8 so we have so so let's see what we got Now the second half, it goes back to the E minor 9 chord, we'll play the pattern once. Then we'll go to this chord sheet which is a... Uh, like an E minor 6 chord we have over here, I got index, middle and ring, uh, index, middle and pinky on D5, G6, B7 respectively and then I have my ring finger on A7. I'll play the pattern once. 
we have next chord and then you quickly go to this chord shape which is F minor 7 with a uh, sharp 5 and the pattern and the drums kick in a bit it goes a bit more faster so we have so for this I plug the ADGB together and DGB mute and repeat the same pattern on the time so we have next chord which will be uh, the B minor 7 uh, flat sharp 5 once and then you go back to E minor 9 play the pattern once and after that you go to a C13 chord you have index and your middle finger on E8 D8 G string 9th fret and B string 10th fret we'll just play the pattern like this I simply plug E D G B together then I plug the D G B then I mute and then I'll go back to a, a B minor 7 flat of uh, sharp 5 play the pattern just once like E D G B I mean E D G B D G B mute and then it goes back to the next part something like that so the first half let's deal with it and all put together I'll play the whole song for you guys one two three four something like that uh, the song goes on let me know what other parts of the song you want to learn I'll try to make a lesson honestly I just heard the song like uh, uh, five six times and what I figured out by watching some of the videos is uh, something like this uh, let's give it another try I think it will be better That's pretty hard. You gotta practice a lot, lot more. Let me know if I should actually make another lesson. Then it will be great for you as well as for me because I'll be like learning a song. Definitely help me with my guitar journey. And I'll make sure you guys subscribe. It actually means a lot your support. So do subscribe. And I'll see you guys back in the next video. Bye.